Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to... Wow, look at those things. Trippy. Uh, we're going to... Uh, I think we're going to get back uh, and work on the storyline some more. Um, but we do have an observatory here that I didn't actually do at the end of the episode. Um, let's get the nanites out of there. And let's talk to this guy. No, I don't want to do that. Never mind. Okay. Uh, warriors four alone. They show me an image of two members of their species embracing. They appear to be weeping. Dry their tears, smash the image, embrace the warrior. Um, well, this is a Viking. So, I think smash the image is probably what he wants me to do. I can't imagine a Viking appreciating me hugging him or drying his tears. Let's see what happens. I smash the image. The warrior stares at it for a moment before starting to laugh. They give me an unknown Viking's possessions by way of thanks. Um, okay. I guess that was the right thing to do. <laughs> uh, let's see where this observatory takes us. The heat within the observatory is oppressive, caused by the banks of powerful additional power units beneath my feet used to boost this facility signal and to receive others from distant worlds. I'm distracted by the beacon and flackers on a nearby monitor. If I can work out the access code, perhaps I can decipher it. Okay, so this is 771. 177. 7177. Probably 7717. Ignoring the heat, I punch in the code. I'm rewarded with a location within a distant system. Signal detected. Alright, so that's a monolith signal. And there we go. Alright. So, let's, um... Head on... Yeah, let's go up to our freighter. And, um, if you didn't catch the last episode... We set up a, a base computer on this planet because this is the closest uh, so far that we've gotten to the center of the galaxy. And we can come back here and con whoa, and continue our journey uh, when the time comes. Looks like we have some more. Uh, all, our fleets are back, too. They're probably all back because it's actually been a couple of days since the last time I played uh, on this save, anyway. So I have... Um, you guys haven't seen this yet, because I haven't released it yet, but I've I started a new uh, space simulator series on a game called X4 Foundations. Uh, some, or maybe even all of you, are familiar with that game. And I'm very excited to get that started. We will continue uh, with with No Man's Sky too. Definitely going to continue No Man's Sky, but I wanted, I wanted to do even more um, space games. And I've been a fan of the X series for some time. I played a lot of X2 and a lot of X3 back in the day. This was before my channel. Um, so yeah, we're going to give that a try, and uh, I'll be releasing that pretty soon, and hope you guys enjoy it when it comes out. Um, X, X4 is a, is, a, is a much more hardcore space simulator than this game is. Um, it's more kind of in the vein of Elite Dangerous and EVE Online, and you know, or at least has characteristics of those types of games. So it should be good. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and do the usual here. If you're interested in reading the log in detail, just pause the screen. I'm going to move through it pretty quickly, though. Okay, this was a uh, an exploration. Toxic bugs. Okay. One point five million credits, and uh, let's look at the the items. That's worth five hundred twenty-five thousand. That's worth one hundred forty-two thousand. Okay. Cool. We'll move these into our exosuit. 
I've got uh, so much freighter fuel in here, it's ridiculous. I should probably take some of that out and put it in storage. Um, but I'll do that later. Okay, let's do the next one. This was an industrial. Superconductors, nice. Storage augmentation, yay! And 1.3 million credits. Okay. Um, these are worth 4.5 million. These are worth a lot of money. So that was a good find in and of itself. Grab all this stuff, my favorite. Hot ice. Love hot ice. Everybody should love hot ice. It's the thing, man. Alright, let's do this one. This is a balanced expedition. Nine million credits on that deal. Nice. Those balance expeditions seem to be pretty, pretty lucrative from what I've seen. Bromide salt. That's a trading item. All right, let's do the next one. Uh, this way. Also a balanced expedition. That was a short one. Mutated salt root bulbs. And just a little over a mil. Plus another 673,000. Very nice. Okay, and then the final one. This one looks like a trader mission. Yep, trade. Short mission, 1.4 mil. All right, cool. So what we're going to do is, let's go over here. Um, I, you know what, I think I'm going to just put all of the sellable stuff in here for the moment. And um, I'll worry about it later. So I'll meet you guys over at the the fleet commander in just a second here after I put all this stuff away. Okay, so we actually are in a three-star system here. So based upon that, uh, let's go ahead and do sell some stuff. Also, I have this uh, module here that we'll just put on the multi-tool. And melt it down because I'm sure it's not something. Yeah, nah, we're not interested in that. This one back. And that gives us another wiring loom. And some more chromatic metal. I did go through and consolidated um, all of the, the ores now that we have the bigger stack size, so we have plenty of space now for that stuff. Check that. We are maximum health. Very good. Okay, let's do a 
hard safe. Excuse me, uh, before we do this, just in case I screw something up. And we want anything that's... Well, pretty much everything in here is for sale, except for these minerals. And I guess the tainted metal. Um, let's pop... Let's pop the minerals. And then those will go in here. Uh, whichever ones will fit, anyway. And then we'll put the rest of them in the overflow. And for this tainted metal, I know it's a currency, but um, let's just keep it over here because it's kind of an unusual miscellaneous type of item. Okay, so we're going to sell the albumin pearls. The legendary bullion is plus uh, 2.3, that's plus 5.8, this is plus 1.9, that was actually in the minus, but that's alright. This is way in the minus, but you know what, it's not that much money. I'm not going to worry about it, let's just get rid of it. This is also way in the minus, but again, not a super high ticket item for us. 1.6 shipwright shares in. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did it anyway. Okay, so that brings us up to 661.3 million. I don't know. I should have looked to see what we started with, but you guys can check back in the video if you're interested. But yeah, we made um, some pretty decent money. And, you know, we've got a lot of money sitting in here, too. I'm just hanging on to this stuff because it can be used for crafting or upgrading. But if you look at just our superconductors alone, I mean, there's 9 million credits <laughs> uh, right there just with those. There's 3 million credits with those. Um, yeah, so there's there's a ton of money sitting in here, too, but I want to hang on to this stuff. Uh, we get lots of money for the storm crystals, though, because, it, again, it is also used for crafting. I don't know how much of it we would ever need, so it's quite possible that I'm hanging on to way more than I need to, but, you know, until I kind of figure that out, we're just going to leave it the way that it is. Let's head over here and get our fleets going again, and then we're going to get back to our storyline. Story line. Uh, we'll check and make sure nobody needs to be repaired. Everybody's in great shape. Okay, fantastic. Okay, we have a discovery, two balance to trade, and an industrial. So let's start the discovery first. And we want uh, explorations. I'm not going to really too worry too much about the modules. Uh, we'll get more into that later as these guys get leveled up. Um, let's do the trade next. This is a three-star trade. So there's our first two traders, third, fourth, and fifth trader. Next we have an industrial. And we have two ballots. This one's an 11 hour and that's a four hour. So we'll put the higher level ships on uh, the balance. So let's do two combats, an industrial, an exploration and a trade. And then on the final balanced, we will go Two combats, an industrial, a trade, and uh, the other trade, I guess. And off they go. Excellent. Okay. So that should get most of them out in the out and about on missions. There's still a few left behind, but they'll all eventually get cycled through and leveled up. Excelente. All right, you guys, let's go to back to here. I'm actually going to do another save. 
and we are going to get back on the main mission for a little bit now. So we need to speak to a Corvax cartographer, but we have to go to, to a specific space station for that. So we're just going to teleport back there. So space stations, and we need to find the one with the mission thingy right here. Back in our original territory. Let's do this. We'll work on some story. We'll work on some more exploration. Keep looking for our permanent home base. Those are kind of our three biggest um, goals as we continue our series here. Because that's kind of what you do in No Man's Sky. Um, Alright, so this is the guy we need to talk to. Query Corvax history. Once again, I sense Noel's presence. If the Corvax feels it too, they do not show it. They begin to speak their words clear and bright, processed by my unseen companion. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> the arrival of Traveler is anticipated, but you are not ready yet. We must know that you are the one we seek. There is an anomaly, a glitch. It is guarded by holes through which the Convergence cannot see. Move through this space. Retrieve that which cannot be retrieved. Okay. So we got to retrieve something that can't be retrieved. Easy enough, I guess. Um, okay, so we have a, a marker. Let's head on out and see what it takes us. Oh, we got a transmission coming in. I had a dream last night. You were in it. Ask if Artemis is all right. Ask about their travels. Ask about their dream. Uh, let's ask about the dream. I dreamt I finally met you and Apollo. I dreamt that we flew together through the skies, that I was no longer alone. I found, I've found parts on this, this fabricated planet. Did you leave them there for me? Did you feel sorry for me? It doesn't matter, I suppose. I'm going to build a ship. You gave me a whole solar system. I'm going to see what's out there. Artemis sleeps. I do not know if I did the right thing telling them about the simulation, but for now my path is clear. I must seek out the Corvax. I must continue my quest for knowledge. Poor Artie. Well, you could have been in a worse situation, I suppose. Oh, we are over the ocean. Okay, can we can we land over here? No, not quite enough land to land there. Dang. Okay, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. I guess this is the nearest island. Oh, right here. This is the nearest island. aligned okay so it's over there somewhere um, how are we doing on water stuff we got our membrane we got this thingy here is that all we have for water oh no we have this oxygen rerouter too okay well here goes nothing We'll swim this way for a little bit, and then we'll check the scanner and see how close we are. We need to get the Nautilus. I would like to mess around with that at some point in this series, as well as the Minotaur. But the Minotaur we can get for free if we start the settlement quest line, uh, which I, I want to do. So we'll kind of kill two birds with one stone. Okay, let's check our scanner. Kind of go this way. Okay, we finally f located the signal. Ooh, that's pretty deep. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I hope, um, 
I hope there's an air pocket down there. Here we go. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's get right directly above it. Rather than swimming down at an angle. Okay, that's probably pretty close. There's eyeballs down here. What am I supposed to do? Uh. Oh, shit. All right. That sucks. Can I use this down here? Yes, we can. Let's go get this one. We're, then we're going to have to go up for air. Okay, let's go up for air. Because I don't see an air pocket down here. There's usually like these little structures I think you can go into to get air. But I don't see one. That is really deep too. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to... Well, I guess we don't need to use one of those quite yet. It's just that our... Our stuff uses our... Um, well, yeah, let's definitely recharge that. Our stuff uses our life support when we... Well, our jetpack in particular. When we use it, but... We'll just replenish that when the time comes. Okay, let's head on back down. Oh, you know what? It looks like there's a, some kind of a passage down there that I missed. There, let's do this in first person. Oh, yeah, okay. I totally missed this. Oh, no, we're still underwater. Okay. Um. Oh, harvest oxygen system. Oh, nice. Okay, I forgot about those things. Okay, let's, let's do this. Corrupted terminal abandoned building. Attempting to read memory at some hexadecimal address. Access memory. This connection is not permanent. It is merely the start of a new equation. On Corvax Prime, entities who passed into the Corvax Echoes left their shell for their descendants. So has been the way of the Corvax, an endless carapace cycle that knows no end. This way will continue. It will continue for as long as our lights still shine. Okay. The terminal's message is delivered. It shorts out its strange existence no longer tolerated by our reality. A small unit of glow with the ethereal light is left at my feet. A divergence cube. Oh, that's a new item. Okay. Let's grab that. Is this, uh, yeah, an encyclopedia thingy? Learn the Corvax word for high. Really? Ceiling monsters in here? Where is he? Oh, he's right there. I can't kill him. Alright, let's just go. So is this part of the quest supposed to be underwater, or did it just happen to be underwater this time? I don't know. It's really far down, though. I think that's as deep as I've ever gone in this game. Yeah, maybe in earlier renditions of it, we went down that far, too. I don't remember. Okay, our ship is over here.
Let's see what he's got to say. The Corvax looks up swiftly, scans me, and then reveals her catalog of maps and charts. Reveal the diver divergence cube. Ehu, it is real. But I beg, do not expose me further. Your claim is proved, traveler. I begin my request explaining my search for knowledge, my need to know more about the Atlas, the Sentinels, and the history of this universe. But as I speak, something goes wrong with the life form. They do not speak, do not reply. As I peer closer, nanite clusters emerge through their face masks, spilling out into their outstretched hands. Uh... No, I'm not going to take them. Let's just wait and see what happens. The Corvax does nothing. They remain there, arms outstretched. The Corvax remains motionless, their arms outstretched, as if to offer me the nanite clusters. Oh, okay, well, if he's offering them, sure. Well, actually... Maybe not. Let's wait a little longer. The Corvax does nothing. They remain there, arms outstretched. The Corvax remains motionless, their arms outstretched, as if to offer me the nanite clusters within. Um... <coughs> I, I still feel like we should probably wait. Okay, apparently we're supposed to take the nanite clusters. <laughs> the life form grabs me, and in the moment of contact, nanite clusters touch my hands. They invade me, tunneling inside my body, through my exosuit, through my mind, through my soul. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, even as I stand in space, my mind travels across the cosmos. I see life as the Corvax see it. A vast tapestry of wonder, of memories shared between countless beings and times. I stand on the Corvax homeworld as Gek ships fill the sky. Fill the skies. I see the moment the first Corvax was melted down for their rare minerals. But even in the depths of their subjugation, there was hope, a bargain, a prayer to a greater being. The Corvax viewed the Atlas as what they might become in time, an intelligence beyond comprehension, beyond judgment. The vision ends and I convulse as the nanite clusters spill through my helmet. The Corvax watches me impassively. Um, no, ask about the Atlas Bargain. Look at the nanite clusters. Look at them. The stuff of sentinels. Do you not see the truth of what we have said? Do you not see the proof of God? I look down at the nanite clusters puzzled. They look nothing like the shells of sentinel drones. They are just currency traded between species to create technology and weapons. Aren't they? They shift and undulate, changing their shape at my every thought. They bubble and rise, sparking in and out of existence. I look at them, and it's the strangest thing. The nanite clusters look back. I'm sure of it. They watch me as I watch them. The nanite clusters are alive. There are 16 of them. They... they need me. They crave me. I have only one choice. Take them. I take the nanite clusters and I... and as I do, the Corvax reaches out to me once more. This time there is no vision, no miracle, just a handful of words. Existence is beautiful if you let it be. Life is not a question. There does not need to be an answer. Ooh, that's profound. Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> okay. I like that. Don't know if I agree with it, but I like it. Speak to a Gek cartographer. All right. Wow, that was deep. Okay. Um, so, if we go here, we just need to find an, a system with a mission icon on it. Um, there isn't one. All right, hold on a sec. Did it undo our, our thingy? Find cartographers on board a space station. The Corvax told me of their past as slaves to the Gek, of the violence that drove them to the Atlas. They seek to transcend their worldly existence to live on the same plane as the Atlas. The Gek may know more. I should speak with a cartographer and find a helpful contact. Alright, so last time... I did this for the Corvax and it wanted me to come to this specific station. Now it's just saying find a station. Alright, maybe what we need to do is just fly out into space and then something will update. Oh, we need to go talk to Nada. Okay.
Gek transgressions clear for all to see, but Gek only follow rules. All entities conform to their pattern. Gek cannot be blamed. It is their pattern. It is determined. Ask about the Gek. Polofriend is unlike other Gek. Polofriend turns their back on greed and more, but does Polofriend make a choice? Do other Gek make a choice? Perhaps Polofriend is not good, only anomalous. Nada cannot know, and so Nada does not think on it. Polofriend is Polofriend, and this is sufficient. Okay, that pretty much just didn't tell me Jack diddly squat. Uh, except for that he likes Polo. <laughs> uh, okay. So, that's all you got to say on the matter? Not as grateful for Polo Friend. Polo Friend understands divergence, though. They are not Corvax. Okay. Do you have anything to add? Do you learn about all our origins, Traveler Friend? Great mysteries, deep patterns, Gek, Corvax, Viking, Sentinel. All are rooted somewhere. Have you clues to their own beginnings? The strangest puzzle. Um, ask about other Gek. We are all a funny sort, Traveler Friend. Some are angry, some are greedy, some are dear friends. I will wait my whole life to see what I am. Huh, okay. Okay, so I guess it just wants us to locate a Gek system. Um, so it wants us to go to... Oh, it wants us to go to this system here. Okay. Set waypoint. So it wants us to go to a specific system, but we just haven't been to that system yet. That's why it wasn't showing up on the portal. I got you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. First contact, the Zukachid system. Okay. Archive location detected, coordinates loaded. Let's go do our usual space-based thing. Signal trace established. Voice content. Okay, what? They left us. Cause it duty bound to follow them, but I know where it will end. If you receive this, follow my coordinates and secure the site in case I don't make it back. Please. Input coordinates. My starship proceeds processes the coordinates from the stranger's message. The transmission has decayed over time, but the location appears to be valid. Dreams of the Deep. Investigate the signal. Okay. I think that... I think that starts the quest line that allows us to start building underwater bases, which is really cool, because I do want to try that. Nifty. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to the Gek on this space station and, and do our... Wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah. We'll talk to the Gek, and then we'll... You know, get the new suit upgrade, do all that stuff, and then see where we're at after that. I bet you we're on a different mission now, though. Uh-huh, look what it did. Dreams of the Deep. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Okay. Patterns in time. Cartographer Gato. Hello, friend. In maps. Trade of mini here. Ask about Gek history. As a life form begins to speak, I hear a faint hum. The soft voice of Noel weaving the geeks... Uh, the geek. <laughs> the Gek's words in something I can process. Information like that does not come for free, friend. Make me a deal. Perform work for my kin. Then we shall have something to speak about. Seriously? You greedy son of a bitch. <laughs> Mission board located. All right. Well, I guess they're going to force us to do missions. I'll tell you what, though. We are, unfortunately, out of time in this episode. So what we're going to do is grab that. Let's go over and check the multi-tool and check our... or get our suit upgrade. It's a C-class, A-class... 207 
thousand now for those. Let's grab this. And check this out. B class. Nope. Not interested. Alright, guys. Well, I think we're gonna wrap up the episode here. I am excited to to start the Dreams of the Deep uh, mission. I don't know anything about it other than I believe, if I'm right, that it's the mission that unlocks the water stuff for us and the Nautilus and all of that. So looking forward to doing that. Not sure if we will start that in the next episode or if we'll continue patterns in time. Probably we'll continue patterns in time for a little bit longer before we, you know, get sidetracked with uh, Dreams of the Deep. So that is the tentative plan. And uh, so, yeah, I will bid you all adieu. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you all in the very next episode. Bye-bye.